This talk is about light and form. Um, more specifically, I want to talk about an effect called caustics. Um, it's a light phenomenon that is created when light is reflected or refracted off cur curved surfaces. And in fact, this is something very common in daily life, but it is often overlooked. And the word caustic actually comes from Greek and means to burn. And legend has it that already Archimedes tried to burn the ships of adversaries using focusing mirrors. Now, it is disputed that that actually worked at the time, but the burning effects of um, focusing mirrors are quite real. Um, you might have seen in the news a few weeks ago these images um, where the curved facade of the skyscraper actually focuses light to such high intensity that it melts plastic. It's kind of a drastic way to discourage parking in the city, I guess. Um, but of course, this idea of focusing light can also be used for useful things. For example, um, to harvest the sun's energy and create heat or electricity by focusing light um, on a small area using curved mirrors. But caustics are more than just focusing light to a point. Much more interesting and actually very beautiful light patterns can be created, even from rather simple objects. For example, a drinking glass or a fruit bowl. Um, whenever light reflects or refracts of some curved object, we can observe these seemingly random patterns, a kind of chaotic patterns of light. Um, think, for example, about sunlight hitting water, something we see very often in our daily lives. Um, and the patterns created here, I find absolutely amazing. I mean, they, they have some kind of serene quality to them. They're very beautiful um, to me. And of course, this beauty of caustics has not gone by unnoted. Um, there's numerous art installations that play with the idea of reflecting or refracting light. To me, as a scientist, this seemingly magical effect exerts a very strong attraction. How can we make sense of what is going on here? Now, the physics of caustics is actually not very complicated. But the interplay of light and 3D form that creates these amazing patterns is far from trivial. So I ask the questions, can we control caustics? Can we design objects that reflect or refract light to our will? Can we paint with light, if you will? And in order to answer this question, I want to have a brief look at how a caustic is actually created. Um, so if you look at the surface of water, for example, and when light, hit, light hits it, then the light rays are actually refracted, they're focused or diverted away to create these kind of random patterns. But now we ask the inverse question. What if we don't want a random pattern, but a caustic image that looks, say, like a photograph of somebody, right? How does the 3D surface need to look like in order to produce such a pattern through refraction? Is that even possible at all? And if yes, how do we find such a surface? The answer is mm, simple. Not quite. Um, don't worry, I will not try to explain these equations. Okay, what you see here is a mathematical description of the question I asked earlier. And in fact, to me, this mathematical model has a certain kind of beauty on its own. It might be a bit harder to appreciate. Um, but once you have this model, there's still some work to be done. So we have to transform this model into an algorithm that can actually be executed on a computer. And this is what we created in our invention. And with this algorithm, we can now simulate and compute the shapes of objects that cast these kind of caustic patterns. Um, we can also predict how the effect would look like. Um, but this is all happening in the virtual world, in simulation, if you will. Now, can we also bring these simulated objects back into the real world? Can we fabricate physical 3D shapes that behave the way our simulation is predicted? And what we tried to do is the following. We took a picture. Um, in this case, it's this woodcut of focusai as a target image. Now what we want to do is we want to find a surface that if light reflects off it, paints that picture onto the wall. So we take our algorithm that we've designed, we run the algorithm with that picture, we send the output to a digital fabrication machine, in our case it's a milling machine, and out comes a block of aluminum. This is what it looks like. Now if the method worked, then if we shine light onto this object, we should see in the reflection the pattern 
of the wave. At least, you know, roughly. So this was the very, very first prototype we did. And it actually kind of worked. We were very excited to see that, at least in principle, you know, you can see the image in the reflection on the top right, for example. So that convinced us that there's something there. Somehow our invention worked. And then we wanted to try something a little bit more ambitious. So we took a different kind of image. Um, we took this portrait that you saw earlier, which is a picture of Alan Turing. Alan Turing is a very famous mathematician who many consider to be the father of computer science. Um, and the question we ask is, can we draw this portrait using a caustic image? This time we wanted to do a refractive caustic, meaning a transparent object that bends the light rays in order to draw this picture. So we did the same thing. We ran our algorithm, we sent the computation to a digital fabrication machine and created this piece of acrylic glass that you see me holding in my hand. And what I'm going to show you now is the very first time that this piece was shown, you can see it just behind the screen, um, but this was a video that was taken when the piece just came out of the machine, basically. I had only seen it myself you know, a few minutes before, so I was actually a bit worried that it worked. This was in the Centre Pompidou in Paris. Um, so if you want to see it, it's behind the screen, you can check it out. Um, and in the meantime, we tried a couple of other things, which are also behind me. So please do check it out. Um, you can talk to some of my colleagues and assistants and ask questions about in more detail how these things work. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.